And I'm Mike Zima, an SEO expert and small business owner. I'm an expat in Majorca, Spain, and today I'm going to be talking about what is SEO and what does it really mean in regards to other marketing options that your small business may have. What is SEO? SEO is an improvement of your website's positions inside of Google. So as your website ages and you're optimizing your website, your different web pages that are ranking for different keywords are going to move up in Google. So how do you move up in Google? Well, there's a couple ways to do it, but most importantly, you want to make sure that you're connecting with qualified clicks that are searching every day in Google, whether it's keyword-based, question-based, there's a whole slew of options and variables that are involved here, but at the end of the day, you can research these keywords and make sure you're inserting them into your web page. So connecting your website with relevant keywords that qualified clicks are searching for so they can combine and help you rank on Google. Google does a lot of the heavy lifting here, so they know which positions are better, and a lot of this is going to be based on authority. As long as you're talking as a subject matter expert about your services and you're basically you're taking this business conversation you're having with people offline and you're putting that conversation online, this is what's going to make you benefit from SEO in the long run. What is SEO then and now? Well, 10 years ago when I started with SEO, it was a lot of shady techniques. I'm including a link in the YouTube video so you can read about what some of these techniques are. This is straight from the page of Google and what they don't want to see. So there, here's a top 10 list. But some of them were inserting keywords in your web page, and I'm talking about a lot of different keywords. People used to hide keywords and change the font to match the color of the background. So it didn't look like it to a user, but people could actually go in there and rank your site for certain keywords because Google just looked at the keywords they would rank your site and over time Google got smarter they would also put in keywords inside of the code and scripts and this was all used to deceive and make your site rank higher eventually what happened was people started producing a lot of content these companies started sprouting up and they were called SEO agencies and all they did was produce content for your site in order to inflate your rankings what happened well you probably heard about these cute animal names that Google comes out with when they update the Google search protocol such as hummingbird panda and so on and so on so what happened was all these really weak articles that people were producing for their business and paying SEO agencies to do they actually went kaput and you're not ranking anymore because Google is not looking for an expert that's only surface deep there's a lot of people that can read a couple of blog articles attend a workshop and they're surface based experts but you have to put in the work to get down to 5 10 years of experience 15 20 years of experience to actually become an expert and this is the expertise you need to transcribe from offline and put it online to Google so why is SEO good and bad? Well, I'll tell you about the bad. If you're doing it incorrectly and you're paying somebody that doesn't know what they're doing, they're probably using outdated techniques such as the article building technique I mentioned. Oftentimes, people build malicious links from spammy websites and links are how Google counts your site. Links are the votes that are coming to your site from other websites, and in Google's eyes, they can start seeing your authority. But you have to keep in mind, this is a quality over quantity issue. It used to be quantity would make you rank higher. Now it's quality will be factored into what your authority of your site is. So remember, over time, you wanna be earning quality backlinks. And those are actually relationships that you're doing with people online. So what's the good? Well, the best part of, about SEO is it's the only marketing that appreciates. All other marketing is cash out the door and you never see it later. Maybe you get a sale, great. But with SEO, what you put in is what you put out. And SEO appreciates over time. It's like an asset. It's like a 401k that appreciates over time. What you have to make a decision on is, do I want to have results today or do I want to have results three, six, 12 months from now, even years, depending on how competitive you are. If you're in a space like medical or if you're in a space like web development, it's very competitive and you have to give it time. And that's what I had to put in. I had to give time. 
but I double down only on SEO and I'm not recommending that you go only SEO into your marketing. You just wanna make sure that your SEO is sustainable for your business. So I just I wanna go on a tangent about the keywords and why SEO is an asset. So I always talk to my customers that SEO is a portfolio. SEO is an asset. And the way you measure this asset, just like you would if you have a lot of stocks or if you have investments or if you have a savings account, you have keywords. These keywords are ranking on Google for the top 100 positions. And if you're ranking for the top 10 positions, you're receiving traffic from Google. Otherwise, you'd be paying Google money in order to have your website come up for a certain keyword. If you're not paying for that and you're coming up on page one, as a result, you're saving that money. So if it's a dollar to bring someone to your site for a specific keyword, that's a dollar that you're saving on your website. So you can see how that's an asset. This is what your site is worth. This is almost the digital net worth of your site. And that's how you have to start thinking about SEO because over time you have to make marketing decisions to appreciate your SEO. We're moving into voice search. So you have to make sure your site is appreciating and following the latest trends. When can you expect to see results? I get this question all the time from customers. It really depends. The only person that knows this is Google and it's a machine. So what are you going to do? Well, typically if you're a new site that's under 12 months, the results are going to take between three to nine months to start seeing the keywords appear. This doesn't mean you're going to be appearing on page one. You have to make sure that over time you start monitoring the progress of your site and you start putting those keywords that Google is telling you back into your site. So this is a progression because you don't open a savings account with $100 and you expect to have $1,000 in a year because that interest accrues over time. And it's the same thing with SEO. But if your site's over 12 months or two years, three years or four years and you've already started optimizing for SEO, you already started doing work for SEO, it's very likely you're already ranking for keywords. So there's actually a bar of entry here. You need to make sure your site is optimized for keywords. You need to make sure you're inside of Google and other search engines. And over time, you'll start seeing the data percolate into Google Search Console. And there's a great tutorial I did if you wanna learn more about how to use Google Search Console in the comments. So those are some things you need to consider. But the results can actually be experienced in as little as 30 days, but results do vary because if you're going into, let's say hoverboards, which was a hot trend, there weren't too many competitors a couple years ago, you could actually jumpstart and kickstart your site to the top of Google relatively quickly. But if you're trying to get into a more competitive space like CBD, there's already a lot of people in that industry, it's going to take you some more time. So you have to position yourself with your marketing and you also can't be discouraged because SEO is not gonna hit overnight and it's something that happens in the future. So this goes back to my point. Do you want results today or do you want results in the future? How much does SEO cost? Well, this is really a question for your marketing budget. I wouldn't recommend spending more than 20% of your marketing budget on SEO. And if you're just starting out at zero, I would recommend doing other bootstrap work such as cold calling and actually finding your customers and dragging them into your business because this is what it's going to take. Building out a referral network and happy customers is going to lead to more business faster than SEO is. You can't have uh, goggles on with SEO. SEO is no longer the favorite child when it comes to digital marketing. I'd recommend it just on par with any other, whether it's social, whether it's paid, whether it's email marketing, whether it's sales outreach. These are all sh should be running in parallel. You just have to decide at what point you want to start doing SEO. So if you're relatively new, there's a very short window of SEO work that you need to do to make sure your site is optimized and ranking for it. If your site has been around for several years, there's actually a larger window of work because there's recurring work that can be done. There's recurring optimizations that can be done. And once your site is optimized, we have to wait. We have to wait. Nobody tells you this, but SEO has a time component to it. Time is the only thing an SEO expert cannot optimize for. So if people are charging you for time just for the results to come in, that's very unfair to your marketing budget. And it's also unfair to a methodology that we practice as digital marketers. We have to see the results come in in order for us to justify whether SEO makes sense going out. So it's playing with how much of the results are coming in. It's playing with your marketing budget and what you're comfortable with spending. And also an understanding. Make sure you understand everything about SEO. 
And I'm not saying you need to have a very deep, deep dive like I would. I can give you a deep dive explanation about SEO, but on the surface, you have to understand what it's all about and how you can deploy this on your site to generate more qualified clicks to your website. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments. If you have a question about SEO and you'd want me to make a video, just drop a comment in and tell me what your issue is and I can look into that and make a video for you. And also make sure you're subscribing wherever that button is. It just floats around, I can never catch it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.